Well, if you have been missing the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park this summer, you will soon be able to add it to your list of activities. The park is reopening this week. To On Your Sides, Karis Belger explains how visiting this beloved Buffalo attraction will be different for the time being. The Naval Park, like so many attractions in western New York, had to close due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Well, all of that will change this Wednesday when the park reopens for the season. Exhibits and tour routes have been adjusted to accommodate social distancing. Visitors will be required to wear masks while they're at the park. Tours of the USS Little Rock, the Sullivans, and the Croker will be self-guided, and they'll be limited to 10 people and spaced out to limit contact. The goal is to try and continue to share everything the park has to offer while still keeping people safe while reopening. Although we are still months away, if not longer, from putting this dreaded virus behind us, our organization has been working diligently on creating a new paradigm for the, near par for the Naval Park that will allow us to welcome the public back while ensuring the health and safety of our visitors, staff, and volunteers, which are our primary concern. Prices have been reduced due to the smaller number of tours, also due to the limited access to the ships. And increased access to other parts of the ships is expected to continue in the future. But in the meantime, to help offset the costs, the park launched the All Hands on Deck fundraiser. And the purpose is to raise money for the park's upkeep, also payment of the staff, while they lower prices to try and keep the park running. In Buffalo, I'm Karis Belger. Back to you.